AIS Automatic Identification System, a video tutorial brought to you by instructorresources.co.uk. So what is AIS? It's an automatic tracking system used on ships and by vessel traffic services. This identifies and locates vessels in the area. AIS is used to enable vessels to see each other more clearly in all conditions. It's also a collision avoidance system, an aid to navigation, search and rescue and maritime security. The legal requirements state that all vessels over 300 tonnes and all passenger ships, irrespective of size, must have Class A AIS equipment fitted aboard. So how does this apply to leisure vessels? You can buy a Class B transponder, which is an optional fit. It's great for you to see and be seen as it transmits your position to all AIS equipped vessels automatically. It also displays the information from all other AIS fitted vessels around you. At night time and in poor visibility it also helps you with safe navigation at sea. There is also another option which is to buy an AIS receiver. This picks up information on all class A and B fitted vessels but remember it does not transmit your position. So how does it work? It basically, to have the most effective job, it needs an AIS transceiver and transponder. It uses a VHF frequency and a GPS receiver. This electronically exchanges data with other craft and AIS base stations in the area. AIS tells us a variety of information about the craft in the area. It tells us position, speed, course, and their contact information, such as their vessel name, call sign, and MMSI number. The range of AIS uh, varies dramatically. It depends on the type of unit you have. If it's a Class A unit, it can be anything from 15 to 20 nautical miles, approximately. Class B units tend to go from about 5 to 10 nautical miles. And where AIS base stations are involved, it's anything up to 40 miles. The only really important thing that this leaves with us with is needing to know how to translate the information we see on our chart plotter, computer screen or iPad. Um, all the vessels you can see are in different colours. The reason for this is so that you know what type of vessel it is. So for example, a yellow is a high speed craft, pink is a yacht or other vessel, orange is fishing, dark blue passenger vessel, etc. Anything of a diamond shape is a static object, so for example a buoy or an anchored or moored vessel. 